why can you not train happiness? Does that make sense? Well, you have to understand that the brain is always adapting and changing. It's called neuroplasticity and it always adapts according to the principle, use it or lose it. So if you use areas, they get bigger, they get more dense, they work better. If you don't use areas, they work less good. So for example, if you meditate, the amygdala, this is the part of the emotional system, um, which is by the way responsible for fear, for example. And this fear system, amygdala, this fear system gets smaller and works less good if you meditate a lot. Just an example. So that you, that you learn about the neuroplasticity principle. So things get smaller and bigger if you use them or don't use them. And if you basically train happiness, you meditate, for example, there's a lot of things happening in the brain. You focus on the present moment. Don't worry so much in the future. You journal about what you're, what you're grateful for, all those things. They change your brain in the long run. For example, the amygdala gets smaller and you're not even capable of experiencing so much fear. There are also other networks in the brain which are responsible for worrying and mind wandering about the past and the future and this is not making you happy. And you will use them less because your brain in generally adapts and you can retrain it. And yes, you can reprogram your mind to a specific degree.